Can't, can't center it. Cashman checked by Makita and Russell. And Forbes in hard there, too. But it's tied up for a faceoff. Marks starts the jam with Forbes. And the linesmen uh, move in between. Marks didn't like that late hit by Forbes. There's a break, and he has door. Dances through. Save, score! Going quick shot, save, Tony Esposito. Score, Hodge! Wait a minute. Wally Harris says no. As Hodge knocked it out of the glove of Tony Esposito, and Tony is mad, but the whistle had blown. That's his advantage. With the score, is Sanderson getting a penalty and running into Wally Harris. He's thrown out of the game, I'm sure. Sanderson held off by D'Amico. Sanderson got a misconduct anyway, and now he's battling D'Amico, and he'll have several games suspension. No question about that. As John D'Amico is uh, finally keeping him at bay, and why Sanderson should uh, protest, uh, the penalty was on Redmond, a tripping call against Orr and Boston, but Sanderson just uh, blew his cool. The only thing I can possibly think of, Fred, is he felt maybe that Orr might have had a penalty shot, although he was not in that clear. It was only from the side. Redmond's getting a tripping call at 1444. Sanderson really blew his cool. Why he did it, as Fred said, I don't know either, and we'll have to wait and see just what the call's going to be. John, he's out of the game, and I wouldn't be surprised out of several games. He uh, brushed uh, Wally Harris and shoved him, and Phil Esposito finally calming him down. With the score, Chicago 2 and Boston 1. Let's pause for this. As good an open ice check as you'll see. Busey on Jarrett, a solid hip check. He really flattened him. And he Marcotte to Orr, 58 seconds left. Orr. Quick shift on White is stripped. And Orr up to protest to Harris vigorously. Harris has given a misconduct to Esposito. And maybe to Bobby Orr. I don't know, Fred. He sort of uh, motioned to two players. I don't know whether he gave it to both of them or not, but there's one going to go for sure. We'll have to wait and see. 50 seconds left to play in the third period. Boston trailing by one goal, two to one. They've put a lot of pressure on Chicago from the second period on, but have only been able to put the puck by Tony Esposito just once. That was Shepard, his fifth of the year for Moore at 5.14 of the second period. Chicago scoring two goals in the second period. There's Harry Sinden, managing director, and he's not too pleased out of the proceedings. But Orr has gone to the Bruins dressing room. The play developed at the Chicago Blue Line. Bill White came out to meet Orr. He was stick handling. Orr, uh, Orr tried to shift around him. Now watch right here. Watch Bill White's right leg. Here it comes now, the right leg. Oh, I guess it's the stick. I'm sorry. It was his arm and his stick. And they, that was what the argument was all about. Orr got up. He challenged the referee, Wally Harris. Now, uh, Sanderson has been thrown out of the game at 14.44 of the second period. A 10-minute misconduct and a game misconduct when he brushed the referee, Wally Harris. White stuck out the stick in the arm, and Orr went over it. And then he got up and started to argue with the referee for a penalty. <laughs> the play coming up again. Now watch White stick in his arm as he goes down. Orr gave him the fake to one side, then pulled it around to go the other way. And there he goes. And we now have a, what was that, Fred? A bench minor penalty and a 10-minute misconduct. Where does the bench come from? But uh, obviously... Uh could it have been a sentence protest or uh, uh, just at the option of uh, Wally Harris? Uh, 
Well, it would have to come from somebody on the bench or something around that bench that can be caused by a, a general manager, a managing director, a coach can draw one. And uh, we don't know what exactly went on, but uh, we've got the ice showered with paper, and uh, now we see a couple of bottles, or one bottle at least coming out, which of course is exceptionally dangerous. And we're going to have a delay here as with 50 seconds left to play in the third period. Boston trailing by a score of two to one, draws a bench minor penalty and a misconduct penalty to Bobby Orr. Well, four penalties were called in the game and the two against uh, Chicago. Russell went out for tripping in the first period and Redmond for tripping in the second period were both uh, drawn by Bobby Orr as he was uh, tripped by them. And Harris has uh, let others go, and uh, on this one here, with debris being thrown on the ice, uh, the final 50 seconds will be almost academic. The Bruins will be uh, with a man in the penalty box. And of course, what it is is the culmination of uh, frustration in the evening for uh, Boston. Or, or has simply uh, been magnificent, uh, only figured with in one goal. But he has carried the play. The Bruins have carried the play, but they haven't been able to tie it up or uh, do anything beyond the one goal. And you have to salute Chicago for strong defensive play. But the frustration is now taken out on uh, Wally Harris, the referee. Well, actually, Fred, this delay would favor Chicago more than the Bruins because uh, Chicago are resting their strong defensive players like Bill White, who really has played a tremendous hockey game for Chicago on defense. And now let's pause five seconds for station identification. This is WSBK TV, Channel 38, Boston. Well, it's going to be a long time before they clear this up. Uh, no question about that. And uh, the goal scoring in the first period, Pitt Martin is 20th of the year from Randy Rota and Dick Redman at 902, a power play goal. And then Rota at 1848 from Martin made it 2 nothing. Boston took over and has taken over from the second start of the second period on, but they've been unable to beat uh, Tony Esposito save for the play where Orr sifted through the defense and shot. Tony Esposito saved and Greg Shepard drove in the rebound. Oh, it's getting kind of dangerous out uh, here, Fred and ridiculous. Somebody just threw a bottle on the ice and it broke into a million pieces. Uh, you know, that's a stupid thing to do, really. Uh, bottles and things thrown on the ice only cause injury to players, delay the game, spoil it for many, many, many fans who are here tonight. And both players are now, uh, both teams, rather, are going to their respective dressing rooms. And when things subside, I, I suppose the game will be resumed with 50 seconds left to play in the third period. And uh, there is really being no attempt made to clean the ice. And it is littered with uh, all kinds of uh, debris. There's beer cans and bottles, paper cups and popcorn boxes. And we'll have to wait for an uh, announcement, I suppose, Fred. I, I, you know, if this happened like at the st end of the second period or the end of the first, they would just have the ice cleaned and play that remaining 50 seconds at the start of the next period. But now we're at the end of the game with just 50 seconds left. And a two minute bench minor penalty called against the Bruins will be served by somebody. Bobby Orr also received a 10 minute misconduct. And that's of course what what started really was the argument on the tripping call or, or the uh, it, what they felt should have been a tripping call against Bill White right at the Chicago blue line or got up after being knocked down by White's stick in his arm at 1910 and he discussed it with Wally Harris.